Imagine it's Monday morning and your alarm goes off. It's 6 a.m. and you have to wake up and get ready. Question for that time is, you are getting ready for what? Are you about to do what you love or are you getting ready for that job that you are never interested in? This world constantly asks, demands and sometimes even forces us to run fast without taking a pause. Because taking a pause is considered to be a waste of time. It sets us a goal, a list to happiness, which is defined by the things that only sets us a temporary feel or emotion. And then again it creates us another milestone to reach unstable or temporary happiness. It doesn't let us experience joy. Let me tell you the difference between happiness and joy. Happiness is in future goals. It is more of like a destination. You wouldn't feel it until you reached it. But joy, on the other end, is in the process. You enjoy as it's happening. It's the now moment. It could be in doing a chore or, in my case, scraping off a melted candle under the sunlight. I don't rush to get my work done these days. I enjoy cleaning my space, I take my own time. again joy is watching when the light is being let into the room and it hits the tip of the brush and it illuminates its surrounding and joy is also when you do something for someone without expecting anything in return. It doesn't always have to be through money. It can be the mandatory things like love, being kind, and sharing your time. And I think constantly the education and the system has stolen this away from us. Another example is that I'll be happy once I reach my desired level of audience under my platform. But Joy is appreciating the 777 people who has took their way to subscribe to my channel. Yes, I do have a goal, but my point is enjoying the process as it's happening and that is what Joy is. Another example in my case is that I shouldn't paint or draw to just complete it. Painting is actually in the process. Imagine if you could just pick a brush and magically go to the end result. There is no fun, right? Creating is joy. Experiencing each and every brush strokes or every pencil mark is what makes a painting or drawing filled with life. To elaborate this even further, if you could just reach 
or attain the maximum knowledge in painting or any other field in just 24 hours, you won't have anything else to do after that. Why do they say that you can never know enough which is actually great? Because if you could just get every knowledge then there would be nothing else to learn. So it's always about learning and learning is the process and the process is joy. We let ourselves to be stuck in the situation where you have to chase behind something which is not really important to us. But don't forget that tomorrow will soon become today and you will repeat the same. If you ask me personally, I got many well-paying jobs in my past. Even now I still do. If money was my goal, I would have grabbed all those jobs. But I don't want to take those jobs and romanticize in my head to be somewhere else. All I want to do is paint and draw. I am completely content and I know that I am exactly where I should be in this present. Back in my college days, I used to buy tons of art materials every time I visited the fine art shop. I would literally spend around $200 to $250 and I would buy every single tube of colors. But looking back now, I've just always needed that 5 tubes of color and you can literally make every other color out of it. I wasn't taking any wise decision back then and now I regret it a lot. You could be in a point of career where it's not important to you and it has always been just a way of making money and that's it. Leaving a comfortable well-paid job for something that you are truly passionate about which is not so certain for at this moment could seem scary. But remember, what you do is like a root of a tree. A tree without root cannot stand for long. You can't keep watering a rootless tree. What you do or your work is like that. Without desire or passion, money can be nothing. If you are only after money, then if the job fails, you will eventually jump from one job to another and you keep replacing. Choose what you want to do and have a definite desire and stick with it no matter what.
everyone can become a boss. Why do you think about disrupting the whole system when it's actually gonna replace you if you die? My friends working in night shifts are compromising their health. Don't forget the money that you make out of that will eventually goes back to regaining your health. Few of them share that their health has been deteriorated and and the company still hasn't changed their shift to morning. If these companies really cared about you, there wouldn't be an option for night shifts. Even missing one night of sleep can put your health at stake. Imagine you are doing this for years just for someone else to prosper. Don't forget the fact that you are replaceable to them. So make a quick wise decision. You don't have to visit a new place every day to get a new sky view. You just have to step into your terrace because the sky is being repainted every minute by the creator of the universe. Even this has been set as a process. to be somewhere else constantly. I know I am making a fast progress towards my art skills and I'm only thinking about the current learning process in the now moment. So go write your book that you've always daydreamed about. Go paint, go start a nursery, go have your own farm, have an animal shelter and whatever you are passionate about. If you think you don't have that initial financial stability to do it, don't forget we have crowdfunding. There's literally millions of people who are ready to back you up if you're truly passionate about it. Even after all these, if you still insist on sticking with your job and doesn't want to hold on to your passion, then don't feel guilty at least. If you keep romanticizing or daydreaming your current life to be somewhere else completely, then you have stepped into the wrong path here. If your work doesn't even let you to appreciate the moment that you're living at, then are you sure that it will lead you to the happiness in your future? <laughs>